That, of course, is Happy Roads from an album, Road Songs, at 93.3 WMMR. Also before that, Smashing Pumpkins and Landslide. At WMMR in Philadelphia, good morning. I'm Helen Light, and we're doing the lighter side of rock and roll. And as promised, as promised, Happy is with me this morning. Hello, Happy. Hello, Helen. Let's make sure we get this on live. Okay. Say hello again. Hello. Why don't I have you coming through to... Hold on for a second. After all this aggravation, we're going to find out why not. I, th- I think I hear you, but I don't hear you in the uh, studio. Mm-hmm. You think, uh, think oh, no, everyone there. else can hear me? There you go. I hear you. It's fixed. As I had mentioned, Happy Roads is uh, with me this morning, and she's got a brand new album out. You know, I'm running on a battery that's very low today, Happy. Now, last week, I was wide awake. <laughs> okay, I guess so. Well, let me, let me just take this opportunity to apologize to you and your listeners for being a big no-show last week, but I seem to make it this time, so... Well, thanks for... I did mention it a couple of times. Oh, okay. A couple hundred times. But Happy Roads said I overslept last week, and she was going to call in, and she's got a brand new album out. Oh, did you have to tell the truth Well, you know, I mentioned it all week, and (laughs) and then I mentioned it all day Sunday, and, you know, I feel like an idiot. And then then people were calling me this morning saying, is Happy on today? (laughs) And I thought, well, I at least better uh, let her clear it up that they didn't miss it last week, because uh, you have a brand new album out, and it was just in the stores as of Tuesday... Uh, so anyone who is into Happy Roads can uh, pick up a copy of a brand new album that uh, we've waited for a while, I guess, for because uh, uh, she had been working on it. And why don't you give us a little bit of uh, a background on the uh, the project that you just completed, Happy? Well, it's called Building the Colossus. It took me about, it was probably the quickest album I've ever done. Uh, it took me only about, well, from April until, until the beginning of August. So uh, that's that's the fastest album I've ever put out, to tell you the truth. Really? Yeah. And um, I think it wasn't, uh, I don't think it was a long time coming because I had road songs in between right. the last release. And, and that was, you know, I did a little bit of work for that as well. So, but, uh, but yeah, we, we did everything very, very quickly, just like uh, other people seem to do. Well, why do you think it was quicker this time? Well, um, oh, it has to do with, you know, um, hitting certain certain markets at certain times, basically. That's really why. Okay. Now, on this project, you have some uh, guest musicians. Yeah. Um, David Torn appears, who uh, lives in the same area as me, which is Woodstock. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and Jerry Murata appears. And, and of course, we have, um, you know, uh, Albany musicians, Dave Sapowski and Chuck DeLoya. And they all did uh, incredible jobs. And it was really fun to work with them, too. It sounds, uh, there are a couple songs that stand out right, right away to me, so I'm anxious to hear the uh, reaction from Happy Roots fans as to uh, what happens to be their, their favorite songs. But um, the one that I like most, I, well, I like two. I like Down Down and uh, Glory. Were they, uh, I don't want to say easy for you to write, but... Uh, What, was there anything involved, anything special with, with either of those songs when you were putting them together? Yeah, well, both of them have their own interesting uh, stories. Down Down is really old. I mean, I wrote the music for that a long, long time ago, and there was just something really special about it, and I couldn't let it go, which is not common for me. I usually, if I don't use it right away, it's rare that I go back to it later. But I couldn't let go of this. It was, I just loved the melody so much. So the song wound up being reworked and reworked uh, a few times. Never even once tried to put lyric to it until I was absolutely sure the, the, the music was done. And then it just turned into this, this submarine <laughs> thing. <Really? laughs> and I don't even know how that happened, but um, it certainly works. And then Glory. Glory is really special um, because it deals with my issues with uh, female role models and how I really didn't have any strong ones when I was growing up and how sad I feel now about that because I, uh, my, my strongest influences were male and while that's wonderful at the same time uh, it would have been nice to have had that balanced out by some strong female role models so um, I miss that not all women miss that you know yeah. but, but I did and I, and I, I fear for, for young girls 
and young women who, who will miss that also. I think we need some stronger female role models out there. So that song is all about um, supporting other women. And For the song, I actually got a bunch of women who I knew together in a room, and we, we did all these chants. And, of course, the chant part didn't work out, but I did manage to ca- catch everybody talking, and I thought that was really interesting, so I, I included that in the song. Yeah, I, wasn't wonder- I was wondering when I was listening to it, now, did they plan to do this, or was this something that just... Uh she had the tape rolling. Right, yeah. I specifically had the tape rolling because I thought I might catch something really interesting, and I think I did. Um, it was basically the spirit of all the women in the same room sharing their experiences because a lot of women, especially me, I know from my own experience, I grew up believing that I was really, you know, an oddball. If I had just known that, you know, women could really share a lot of experience with each other and support each other, it, it could have helped me a lot. Well, I think we should listen to that song then. Okay. Glory at 93.3 WMMR and our guest this morning, Happy Roads. Mm-hmm. It's new music from Happy Roads. Building the Colossus, the song is called Glory. Our guest this morning is Happy Rose from a far off place, somewhere near her bedroom, I'm assuming, at 93.3 WMMR. She's got a brand new album out. And uh, I, I, I guess I first heard Happy Rose when the War Paint album came out and I got into a song called Feed the Fire and her her range is what influenced me in the very beginning and, and the sounds that were very similar, I guess, reminded me of like a Peter Gabriel feel, uh, yes kind of feel and uh, you are a big yes fan, aren't you? Yes, I am. Sort of a prog head, yeah. I guess people would call me. Yeah, and I understand you're doing something with uh, yes in yeah, September. They have- Yep, they have a convention going on in New York, uh, September 9th and 10th at the Manhattan Center. And uh, I'm going to go and play a, a, a small acoustic set, going to do some, like a yes medley sort of thing, and then do some cuts for my album. Do you know how much time you're going to get to do your stuff? Actually, I don't, uh-huh. but I imagine it's going to wind up being around 20 minutes to half an hour. I could probably make it as long or short as I'd like. Is that going to be a, a preview of Happy Roads on tour? Um, partial preview, I think, probably, because there were, I'm going, definitely going to tour, and there's going to be some venues where I can't have a full band. So um, I will also be doing a radio tour, so I'll be doing some acoustic stuff on radio, and uh, I might do some small halls, just acoustic. But I'm also rehearsing a band for live. I think in the in your area, um, I will probably bring a band. Oh, that was a wonderful show. That was probably one of my all-time top five favorite shows when I when I saw you uh, recreate the album. I, I the, like I said, the range is what amazed me uh, that you can go so high and and so low. And if you've never seen Happy Roads, you almost think there's someone else up there singing with her because you change so flow. It just goes, you know, no problem. You just go. From one range to the other. Have you always been able to do that? Um, yes, but I'm on medication now, Is so that <laughs> all my personalities have <laughs> joined. I'm glad to hear so. that. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber room has been uh, padded, huh? <laughs> you, how long have you been singing, Happy? Oh, uh, you know, I think when, by the time I hit 14, I've always been singing. You know, I, when I was, I remember being nine years old and singing along to the album Switched on Bach. Um, but by the time I was 14, I really started developing a vibrato, and I started, you know, playing with the idea of being able to really, really sing. The thing was, though, I didn't have any low voice, you know. Um, I didn't have a really developed low voice until I was about, I don't know, 24 or 25. Really? Yeah, just a few years ago. Because I never used it that much. Yeah. I was so, so very influenced by, like, uh, Freddie Mercury and John Anderson and Kate Bush, and singing along with that music puts your voice, you know, I got a lot of exercise in my upper range, but I didn't really exercise my lower range. Huh. Even though I was a fan of David Bowie's, you know. Yeah. But I, I worked it out. Then you just then you just discovered that you had that? that well, I always knew I had it. It yeah. just wasn't really controlled or right. strong. I had no good control over it. So I, I just worked on it a lot. 
used it a lot more, basically. And you learn. You were a key. I guess keyboards is how you you began. Yeah. Well, I started playing guitar first when I was eleven, so uh, that got me into it. And then by the time I was around eighteen, I got my first synthesizer. I went wild. And yeah, some would say. <laughs> this is your. <laughs> this is this is Happy's uh, eighth album, uh, Building the Colossus. She's got uh, four before I even met her. And then more paint. We kept, you know, thinking, "Oh, this is a this is brand new." But there's a Happy Roads fan club, and, and I guess is there like a, a number people call her or an address or, or something that people would get in touch with you if they needed to? Uh, um, like, like a, I'm not sure. What is it? Is it internet? Is that how they do it? Well, there's um, there's a few. There's three different ways they can contact me. Um, you don't really want to go on the internet to contact me. That's just to contact other fans. Oh, okay. But um, there's a fanzine, and there's an address that you could write to if you wanted to uh, subscribe to that. And, of course, everybody could always write to Oral Gratification if they want to contact me or management here. Okay, so Happy Rose is our, our guest today. I wanted to do uh, another song from her album before I, I let her go this morning. And the one I'm going to do is a, a song called Down Down, which is uh, the one, according to uh, some stuff I have, is was inspired... By film Hunt for Red October is yeah. what inspired this song. And it's on Building the Colossus. Happy Roads, our guest this morning at 93.3 WMMR. Brand new music from Happy Roads. The album's called Building the Colossus Down Down. And we heard Glory this Sunday morning. Happy Roads, my guest today. And she's got to be one of my favorite uh, female singers at this point. I've, I've liked her for uh, many years. And she's got that kind of music that it's haunting. And you can listen to it and hear different things each time you uh, each time you listen to it. So she said she'll be stopping by, is that right, to, to visit me? Yeah, live, definitely. Live in the studio? Does that mean like live at this time, or are, you, or are we going to be live at a different time? Let's put her on the spot. <laughs> what do you mean by live <laughs> at this time, or live at a different well, time? Well, see, some of my folks come in live at 8 a.m. and sing. and Is then those, fact? And then some folks... <laughs> 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 of course, there's some people that come in at noon or one, and then, you know, it's just that time of day. I'm sure she's more of the one o'clock, but I, I do hope you stop by, and we are really looking forward to you uh, putting together a, a tour with the band. Thanks. So yeah. I hope that comes together. Yep, me too. Good luck with the project. Thank you. And once again, the, the album Building the Colossus is now available. You know, for a fact, at Main Street Music, I was talking to them the other day, so they are all ready for the uh, Happy Roads fans, and we do hope you will uh, stop by. Thank you for uh, calling me uh, today, Happy. I know you had to set 75 <laughs> alarm clocks, but I appreciate it. Well, it's the least I could do. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Happy Roads will be uh, stopping by when she comes through town, and we'll get to another song from her album here at 93.3 WMMR. Thanks a lot.